It's time to plant your spring garden. Whether you planted your own seeds earlier this year or you bought plants ready to go, there's a few things you're gonna wanna make sure you do while transplanting those into your garden. Today, I'm gonna share five tips to help you be successful transplanting your new plants. Stick around, this is In The Garden. For joining me. Whether you're a new viewer or a returning subscriber, I'm glad you're here. This is In The Garden, where I share tips and tools to help new gardeners be successful in backyard vegetable gardening. Today, we're outside and I'm getting ready to plant all my plants in my garden. But when I do that, there's a few things I'm gonna wanna make sure that I'm careful of. So today, I'm gonna share five tips to help you be successful while transplanting your new plants into your garden. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like button so I know you're enjoying the videos. And if you're new here, consider subscribing so you can get all my latest content. Number one is making sure that you've hardened off your plants. You need to make sure you're hardening off your plants whether you started your own seeds or you bought plants ready to go. Either way, you need to make sure they're hardened off so that they won't have such bad transplant shock and they won't be damaged by the wind and the sun and the heat when you move them into your garden. Hardening off is really easy, but you need to start hardening off your plants a week or two before you're ready to move them outside. So make sure you plan ahead and harden them off. If you didn't plan ahead, then you might want to postpone putting them in your garden for an extra week so that you can harden them off first. You'll find that it, they're going to do a lot better if you harden them off. Number two is to make sure that your garden bed is watered really well before you plant your plants. If you already have your drip system set up, you can just make sure that you're running it for a few days before you start planting your plants. If you don't have your drip system set up, then you wanna make sure you just go out and water it with a hose or a sprinkler and make sure your entire garden bed is watered well. So no matter where you plant your plants, the soil will already be moist. You don't wanna be transplanting your plants into dry soil. Number three is to make sure that you've added your organic fertilizer and compost to your garden bed before planting your plants. It's a lot easier to get it mixed in the soil throughout your garden if you do it when there's no plants in it. So make sure you, you're adding organic fertilizer and compost before putting your plants out into your garden. Number four is really important. This is something that a lot of new gardeners do wrong when they're planting out their gardens the first time. Make sure that when you transplant your plants, you wait until the evening time. You don't wanna be planting all your plants in your garden in the middle of the day. It's too hot and your plants are gonna have really bad shock from being transplanted while it's that hot outside. Today, it's not even May yet and the high temperature here in the desert was in the 90s. If I was to put my new plants out into the soil out in my garden while it's 90 degrees outside, they're gonna have a really hard time adjusting to that change. So I wanna wait until the evening when the air temperature starts to cool down, the soil doesn't have the sun shining directly on it, so it's gonna cool down as well. And the plants aren't gonna have like that huge change from being in their container to being in the ground and getting pounded by the sun and pounded by the wind in the middle of the day when it's super hot. So wait until the evening time to plant your plants. Number five is to make sure that when you're planting your plants, that you're gonna plant them to the same soil depth that they already are in the containers. So for something like squash or zucchini, you're not gonna plant them any deeper than the, the soil is already in the container. You're gonna match that soil level and that's gonna be the best place for those plants to be. The same is gonna be true for things like melons and peppers, all sorts of, almost everything in your garden. There is one exception though, tomatoes. When you're planting your tomatoes, you're gonna plant them a lot deeper than the soil is in the container. For a tomato like this, I'm actually gonna plant it up all the way, probably about this deep. So two thirds of the plant is actually gonna be buried underground. And that's gonna help it to grow a larger root system and be a lot stronger as it gets established in my garden. Those were the five tips I wanted to share with you to help you be successful transplanting your new plants into your spring garden. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing so you can get all my latest content. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.